Welcome to PHP e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial series, I'm going to create an e-commerce project using PHP and I'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So in this video, we're going to create a PHP project. So in order to create a PHP project, first of all, you need to have XAMPP installed. So if you just go to your browser and search for XAMPP, then press enter and here you can see jam installer apachefriends.org just go to the first link and here you will see the jam download option here you can see download for windows linux and OS X. i already have xamp installed in my device so i do not have to install xamp again and if you do not have xamp installed then i will give a link over here and also in the description from there you can see how you can install xamp to your device so right now I assume that you already have XAMPP installed. So once you have XAMPP installed, if you just go to your Windows search option and search for XAMPP, you will see this XAMPP control panel. You need to click on it and it will open something like this. So here you can see we have Apache and MySQL here. So you need to click on this start option for Apache and the start option for MySQL. So after that, whenever you want to create your PSU project, you need to go where you download your XAMPP. So for my case, my XAMPP is in global disk C and here you can see XAMPP, XAMPP folder. So I need to go inside XAMPP folder and inside XAMPP, here you can see htdocs. So we need to go inside htdocs and every time you want to create a PSU project, you need to go inside this folder called htdocs. So I'm going to create a folder here so i'll just right click click on new and click on folder so let's say our folder name will be ecom underscore project press enter and there you can see we have a folder here so let me just open this folder using sublime text so in this tutorial series i'm going to use sublime text you can use visual studio code atom or any other code dot so i'm just going to open sublime text here then I'll click on this file option, then click on open folder, then I'll go to my local disk C, then XAMPP, then HDOS, and inside HDOS, our folder name was eform project. I'll select it, then click here, select folder. And there you go. So here I'm going to create a file. Let's say the file name will be index.php. So for it, I'll just right click on this folder, then click on new file. I'm going to say here index.php. Control S, then save. So here, this is a PHP file. So we can write HTML code here. So in the body, let's say H on my PHP project. So we save this, and after this, we need to open this file in our browser. So how can we open it in the browser? So for it, we need to go to the browser and we need to say here localhost after that after writing localhost ebay slash and here you can see our folder name is ecom underscore project so we need to write it exactly here we need to say here ecom underscore project then here you can see that our file name is index.php so we're going to send here slash index.php PHP. So right now, if we press enter, there you can see it says my PHP project. So this is the HTML code. So let's just write some PHP code. So in order to write the PHP code, we need to give the PHP opening like this and the PHP ending like this. So inside it, we can write PHP code. Let's say at echo my ecom project. So right now, if we save it, then if we refresh here, there you can see it says my ecom project. So in this tutorial, we just created a normal folder and a normal index.pc file. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is that we're going to make a design for our e-commerce website using HTML and CSS. And you will get the project playlist at the end of this video and also in the description as well. So make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.